what's going on y'all so in this video we're going to be going over the three ways or um the three requirements you need to start getting abundance of women okay in your life okay you need to have these three things or you're just going to find that you're losing the women the few women that you're getting okay uh when you start to implement these things you're going to notice that you're um not only the numbers, but the quality of woman starts to improve, okay? So, we're basically going over self-improvement, dating advice, okay? Three requirements to get an abundance of women, okay? And we're going to go straight into it. And I'm going to try to break this down as much as I can so you can fully understand it, okay? So, the first thing is... And before y'all may have seen this on the channel, but YouTube live keep kicking me out. It's like they don't want y'all to know this stuff. OK, so I don't know what's going on with YouTube live. So I, I, I'm pre-recording this. All right. So the first thing is your own income. You need your own income. Now I'm not talking about go work for somebody else. You need to build your own stuff. You a man. OK, with masculine energy, the the masculine energy is the action, okay? It's the building. It's the creativity, okay? You need to get into your masculine, create your own stuff, okay? And get your own things. You understand what I'm saying? So women can start to respond to you, all right? So, you know, how do you create your own income? Well, I'm going to talk to you just like, um, you was my little brother. Okay. Before I get into it, um, I'm not a CPA tax attorney, uh, licensed creditor or credit credit advisor. Okay. This is just for educational purposes. Just like I was teaching my little brother. Okay. So starting from getting out of high school, your focus shouldn't really be on women in high school. Okay. Your focus should be Okay, what am I going to do after high school? Okay. A lot of y'all and a lot of us get forced into going to college for something that we don't like. Okay. Uh, and we know that we're not going to stay into it and then we get into debt. And you got that debt attached to you, you know, messing up your credit. Okay. Um, I don't want you to get into that. If you know that you want to be a doctor and that's truly what you want to do. Okay, go ahead and go spend some days with multiple doctors and just watch and pay attention to their energy. See if they like their job, the day to day for it before you make a decision like that. OK, um, I went to college to make sure to try to make sure that I was going to be good financially. And I ended up coming out because I went to college to be a certified veterinary technician. Um, and I came out of that making as much. I was supposed to make more because the median for that is greater, especially being in Chicago. Um, but I was making just about as much as uh, a Walmart employee. So um, that was a bad decision for me. But um Okay, I just don't want y'all to go down that route if you don't, if that's not what you're passionate about. Okay, so if I could do it all over, I wouldn't go to college. I'd do exactly what I'm about to tell y'all. So, coming out of there, you want to focus on two things. Get you a job, okay? At this point, you're just trying to get a job, okay? Um, And then your credit, okay? Most of y'all going to have no credit. So... Get you a secured credit card, okay? $300 limit, okay? So you get your job, take $300 and put it on a secured credit card. Get you a secured credit card, okay? And as you make it, and get you a checking account, okay? Put your deposit, direct deposit into. And when your money come into your direct deposit, you want to buy everything with your credit, with your credit card. OK, that's what you uh. That's what I did. OK, uh, before I started screwing up with following what my parents said with the college thing and student loan and all that stuff. OK, um, 
And which, by the way, I was able to turn that around. And now I got my student loans working for me instead of against me. Thumbs up for that. OK, it's all through the power of understanding credit. OK, um, so it worked out either way. Um, but just so y'all don't get have to do all that stuff, start off simple. Get you a credit card, buy all your stuff, your gas, your food, uh, whatever transportation you're using to get to work, uh, your clothes, um, everything you everything you buy, do it with the credit card. Okay, your bills with the credit card. If it's over your three hundred dollar limit, see if you can pay part of it, and then wait till the next week after to pay the rest. Um, usually, like even with your rent. You can pay part of it throughout the month, okay? Um, most of y'all going to get paid bi-weekly or weekly, okay? So, and you got apps uh, like um, Even, you got, there's another one. And they uh, advance your, your paycheck to you and things like that. Um, but basically... You're building your credit up, and then each week, so four, you got four weeks in a month. Each week, you pay whatever you used on that credit card, okay? So you're going to make four payments, okay? Usually, most people pay one time and don't even pay the whole thing, okay? So they build their credit slowly, or it, they don't grow at all. But since you're paying four times, okay, your credit limit is 300 You're paying 300 Six hundred, um, nine hundred, twelve hundred. Okay, for every week for uh twelve hundred total for that month. Okay, the credit reporting agencies, the CRAs, is gonna start looking at past your credit score, whatever it is, even if, pretty much if it's bad. And then, um, you're gonna start getting offers from um other credit credit uh credit card okay and then they're gonna cr increase your uh credit limit all right from 300 thousand 1500 1200 5000 from there and you know that's how they do that and then when they send you these other credit card offers uh make, see and make sure like they're already pre-approved and things of that nature because basically what the CRAs is doing is giving and selling your, your data, okay, to potential people who want to do business with your credit credit score, okay? And since yours is going to be on the up and up and good, you're going to be getting some good offers, okay? So you're building your credit up and everything. You're paying everything with your credit card. You're increasing that. So you're living off of interest instead of principal, okay? Principal is the cash. Interest is basically things that is uh have monetary status um that you basically don't have to work for, okay? So things like precious metals, uh your credit, uh land, air rights, stuff like that. Okay, so now that you got that stuff going, what you do, you don't blow on your credit on stupid stuff. You, you monetize your credit to start your business, okay? Start your uh, uh, way to start a business. Uh, you got CPAs. You use your CPA to ask questions about where you're located at, okay? So if you live in Illinois, how do I... You ask your CPA, okay? Use your credit cards to talk to a CPA, okay? How do I start a business in this particular state? Um... If you want to do online business like us uh, content creators, which is uh, probably one of the best ways because you, you're you're cutting the the ties between your time and your income. You want to slash that. You want to connect your uh, your time. You want to disconnect the time. OK, you just want to put out what people is already looking for. Okay, so with bodybuilding, okay, bodybuilding, 
has a CPC over a dollar. Most of these YouTubers, big YouTubers, um, their CPC for the advertisements that run on their channel and their uh, content um, is low, like 10 cent. Um, CPC is cost per click, and that's basically how much advertisers pay to put their stuff on your content. And theirs is low, okay? When, you know, my channel, uh, self-improvement, dating advice, all these things, dating advice is like, is higher than a dollar, okay? So, you know, my stuff is good because I did the research and looked into what I want to talk about and form my business around, okay? So, that's how you do those things, okay? And I, I have my LLC, all right um and then the everything's building around that okay credit all right it's gonna be easier for you guys with no credit okay but what i'm doing is my student loans since i got multiple student loans on my credit report they're all in the positive now and i make payments each month and that's reporting each month to the credit bureaus okay so that's gonna get me back on track for as my as far as my credit, okay, to combat the decisions of going to college. All right. Um. So that's one thing you want to focus on, and then your second thing is you need to get your own spot. If, if y'all got any questions about the first thing, I have a course down below where we go more in depth about how to get these things started. Okay. Second thing is get your own spot. Okay, it's going to be pretty hard for a woman to respect you from a totality aspect if, you know, you trying to if you trying to split things with her. OK, because you live in with her. You understand. Um, You got to remember that um, you want to remain in your masculine. OK, and masculinity forms boundaries okay boundaries is over your stuff okay if you ain't got nothing you one of them lions that just lost his pride it, and the pride is it's group of females and cubs and uh probably elders and close immediate family you just lost all that okay you just wander okay it's just you okay you ain't got nothing all right so how a lion, how a male lion would combat that is starting a new group, okay? Getting his own, all right? You got to get your own spot, man. That's one of the best feelings that you ever going to get, having your own spot, man. Especially if it's connected to your business, okay? And when you get your CP, talk to your CPA, talk to them about a corporate veil, and having it set up in a way where you have multiple uh, subsidiary companies underneath a holding company, okay? And talk to them about having companies that's attached to the things that you have, like your, you know, your housing and things, and implement it into the business for tax purposes. Talk to them about that, okay? Um. So with your own spot, you ain't going to have to be worried about, you know, the girls uh, walking around, you know, without no clothes on and your mommy seeing it. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, all this was some of the biggest uh, anxiety caused, causing things, you know, coming up, man. Like you trying to get it popping with girls and, you know, you ain't got your own spot and then you got to tell them. Okay, I don't have my own spot. We got to go back to my mommy's house. You know what I'm saying? That just that coming out your mouth should make you want to okay, I'm getting sick of this this shit right here. I need to get my stuff and I need to get my own things, okay? And that's what fueled me to get my own things. Okay? All right. So, that's what you want to focus on, man. Get your own spot. You got things like Airbnb where they don't really uh, check your credit. Just as long as you um, got the money to pay each month, hey, man, you pretty much good. Or 
you can go the traditional route of um with your credit looking good just like i told you in the first part um once you got that credit looking right they going you going it's going to be an easy time finding an apartment okay and since you got your own income llc whole legitimate operation going on you're not going to be scared to lose that apartment because you can't pay the rent because you have control over your income that's why i'm told you to set yourself up to have your own particular income because that's how i ended up getting evicted out of my place okay my income was attached to some somebody else wrote my paycheck okay and they wanted to start uh making the workplace hostile to the point where i had to leave I couldn't pay my rent no more. Okay. I don't want you guys to be in that position. Okay. I want you guys to be set up to write your own paycheck. Okay. So that's why I'm telling y'all to get your own stuff. All right. So that's why you need to get your own place. So you ain't got to go back to mommy house, getting in arguments with your mommy about when, when and how and where you, you get to, get popping with your girls okay that's not a good situation to have man okay and then your girl looking at you all funny you know what i'm saying you don't need all that man just get your own place then your girl can walk around naked you can walk around naked uh y'all can t it can be noises all over the place hey man all that stuff can pop off when you got your own place you understand so your first thing should be to get this stuff together okay set yourself up the women are there you just want to set yourself up all you doing is grabbing a cup making sure you grab a cup that can hold the water that we already know is out there you don't have to create the water the water is already out there you just get your cup boom put in the water okay what you doing with these women is you already know the women is out there in good quality quantity of numbers all you doing is just getting this stuff together and receiving the women. That's it. That's all that's going on. Okay. But you got to do this stuff. All right. Your own car. Okay. With me personally, um, I like to drive to the women. Okay. I'm going to be coming out with a video about why I don't like to have women come over to my place. Most of the time. Uh, <laughs> I, I I got y'all on that, man. Um, but I like to go to their place. If they place I find is dirty, hey, man, I'm going to cut it off with that girl. Okay. But if they place nice and clean, well kept, um, I let them come over my spot. But I like to see how they living first. I want to make sure motherfuckers ain't got roaches and st stuff like that. Because that's one of my, I don't want roaches in my place because of a female. Okay, and that's pretty much going to be the story that's going to be coming out. So I'm going to let y'all know about that. Um, But yeah, man, get your own place. All right, get your own car. All right, you need a car. You need a car, man. Unless you downtown, Chicago, New York, one of these big places where you can just take an Uber down the street or just take the bus or train and the train and bus is running all throughout the night and everything that y'all can just do it that way take an uber okay um but if you like suburbs something like that you definitely want a car you're gonna need a car so you can pick these women up okay pick these women up or go to their place okay because that's all you're doing position yourself all right um and then number three is get your own body tight before you start complaining about how women is looking. Okay. Get your own body looking tight. Okay. Your diet should not consist of a whole bunch of fast foods and all types of foods jumping off. Okay. I told y'all. And again, I got more in-depth information about this in my course down below. But get your own body together, man. Stop eating all that fast food, okay? 
All that stuff is accumulating fat around you, okay? The reason why so many people is fat because they over they over consuming fat, okay? Dietary fat, all right? You over consuming it, okay? And then they think it's the carbs getting them fat, so they cut out their energy, and then they don't feel energized to do anything, and then, you know, they all over the place, and then they already not eating enough protein because they think vegan is the way to go, okay? You got to get yourself out of all of that stuff, get you a gym membership, okay, so you can start building proportionate muscle on your body, okay, that fits your height, okay, and you can type in your uh, height and see how much you should weigh from a bodybuilding standpoint and see how much you should weigh for your height. I'm around 5'7", so for me, my weight should be around 165, okay, with, you know, with muscle on me included, okay? So, and you know, that's around like 10% body fat, 10% body fat, you know, abs poking through, you got good cuts and you, you know, you looking good, you looking whole ready, okay? So, those are the three things you need to make sure that you get together, okay? I hope I explained it in deep enough depth. I want to go into one more thing too, okay? So the reason why I said you need to disconnect your time from your income is because you're always going to be limited with your time, okay? It's only 24 hours in a day, okay? You want to trade that off for the value that you can bring to the marketplace because the marketplace already has the multitudes, the millions and billions of people that want what it is that you have to offer in the marketplace, OK, so if you make eight, if you have eight hours to work, OK, and you want to make all the way up to two hundred dollars per hour, two hundred times eight is sixteen hundred for that day. OK. um, So that's from your time being connected to your income. And then if you got something that you can put out to the marketplace that will provide an uh take care of somebody's problem, okay, or, you know, these interest-based niches that you can look into and uh, have CPCs, okay, but let's just talk about a product, for example. You got a $200 uh, product, okay, and it's 3,000 people searching for it a day or you run traffic to 3,000 people a day that's interested in this $200 product, okay? So 3,000. Like you post a video on, on YouTube, all right? Zero, 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 zero. Zero, zero, six, nine, nine. Okay, that's 6,000. All right. So do you see the difference? But with this, you didn't have to do anything. That's not connected to your time. So this number can keep going up without you. You're not capped off at this 6,000. You capped off at this 16,000. You understand? And that can be any number you want it to be, okay? That's where you start opening your world to the abundance of things, all right? So I hope this video helped, man. Uh, Y'all go ahead and check out the other stuff in the description link. Check out the other videos to stay up to date. Amen. Y'all be good.